Welcome to Lincoln, Nebraska, and a place some of the game's immortals have called home. Johnny the Jet, Frazier, Crouch, Rozier, and many, many more have built this big red legacy as this crowd is ready to cheer on their beloved Cornhuskers. Little gets the blood boiling. Why like a rivalry game? Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Wisconsin Badgers, taking on another team from the Big Ten, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. 4EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Huskers will boot it away to start the game. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Badgers' offense takes the field. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. He'll try to pop the draw. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive linemen that want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest, makes them realize they got to play the run, too. Great play call. It's first and 10 from the 31. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. Seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when we see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. We can talk about the next game on the schedule. They're always looking forward to this one. On the run, it's Malusi. <laughs> That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. The Badgers are rolling down the field. Might as well give it to him again. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker. You can tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chases him down. Gets to him. Not only gets to him. Doesn't let him break the tackle. Gets him on the ground. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. Throws to the wideout. Grabbed in the middle. It's Anthony. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Nice confidence by the QB. Good throw over the middle of the field. Nice little strike down the field for a big play. Listen, you got to throw it where it's open. And he found a slot, found a little hole in the middle of the field. Nice job attacking it. And the Badgers are in the hurry up. Red pass, it's complete. 
They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll go to the ground. No oh, what a move! He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. You know what? Everybody gets energized on the whole football team. And you got running backs that fight for extra yards and breaks tackles. It's awesome to watch. Everybody literally gets a little jolt of energy because that guy continues to fight for everything he gets. Quick pass on the jet motion. Touchdown, Wisconsin! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7 0. So an 82 yard drive there. And the score comes on a five yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So Nebraska's offense has the ball for the first time. You know, David, both of these teams have a strong safety that can support the run and also disruptive in the passing game. I mean, it's just so nice to have a guy that's so physical, like a linebacker, but also can play like a DB. These guys are really revolutionizing defenses. They hit people, too. They are heat-seeking missiles. Nobody wants to run over the middle of the field against these guys. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run it out of the shotgun. At the 35, he's open. And a really nice run and pickup there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Nebraska's had a lot of guys to feed over the years. Mike Rozier, Roger Craig, I am hip. But you don't know who's going to get it with this running attack. Yeah, but I do know this, Reese. Whoever gets it is going to run the football physically. And Nebraska is going to be very happy. Their fan base will be jacked if they establish the physical ground game because that's who they are. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They believe they can run right here. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Looking to pass, it's Rayola. He unleashes a long one into traffic it's picked off couldn't find much breathing room to return it but the interception has this offense in business at the 27 not the start this kid was looking for very first pass of the day gets picked off this is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end and he's got to be real careful with his eyes not telegraph throws like he did right there he's gonna have to settle in The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. 
And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drop. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to get this guy on the ground, man. He's got some serious moves once he has the ball in his hands. Now it's a first down from the 43-yard line. They'll give it to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. the gun leaves it on the inside with the back and it is a good idea to gang tackle first guy couldn't get him second guy finally did and they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defensive guy third and five plus i'm thinking pass they were thinking pass palmer and they slipped the run in and it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too right because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off and he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first keep the drive going not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And here comes play number six of the drive. Now they're going to throw it his man it's green and he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch how many first downs is that alone you know just on this drive the defense they keep this up they're going to get worn out and continue to have to play more and more guys they got to do something to change this the badgers getting set on first and ten he'll keep it himself They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. How easy was that? I mean, when you got a quarterback that can run design runs like this and, and get you five-plus yards just and make it look that easy, God, it makes it really hard for the defenses to stop. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking downfield, it's Van Dyke. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Badgers! And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game day. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. 
the Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Right back to the well. And I think they'll give him two on that with second and eight coming up. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. Really good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. This offense is really going to try to keep the defense on their heels in the run game by doing it with different guys. It'll be running backs, it'll be quarterbacks. They may even try to get receivers involved in the jet sweep game, reverse game as well. But a nice play there. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. It'll be a run on third and short. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Huskers will send out the punt unit. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Bringing it back, it's Anthony. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. It'll be a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, then we're making the backfield for a tackle for a And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. Quickly complete. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Well, they're able to complete the hitch throw against man coverage. And, hey, quarterback's got to be able to get it to him quickly because he knows that defender's going to be driving on the ball. So really nice job, not hesitating, getting it to him, and then he gets what he can get after the catch. And the Badgers will bring the punt team onto the field. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They've stumbled a little bit out of the gate here, Jesse, finding themselves down by two scores. Yeah, their defense needs to help them out and get off the field, get them some more possessions. This offense didn't spend a lot of time on the field in the first quarter, David. I think they got to run the ball here and try to establish some rhythm. they got to establish something, and you're right. You'll wear your defense out, continue. You keep getting the football back to them, to the other offense, you're wearing your defense out, and you'll have no shot to get back in this game. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You know, defensively, you live by the blitz and you die by the blitz. That time, they dialed it up into the run play, and the linebacker able to make a nice tackle. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. 
And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. That's one thing this defense takes a lot of pride on. They like tackling the catch, and they like being around the ball. That time, he was in proximity to knock that thing loose. Nice physical play. The Cornhuskers line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field, David, so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. Uh, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. Looking for a gap. It's Mabusi. They make the stop after a gain of three to the 31. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically beat the challenge. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking to throw. It's Van Dyke. Got his man quickly. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. With all those receivers in the game, you might think they were getting ready to try to take a big shot. Instead, just efficiently moving the chains. Yeah, you got all that speed. It scares the mess out of me. I, I might give you more of a cushion, especially in some areas where you're now you're going to get good matchups of safeties or linebackers on receivers. Nice execution by the offense, getting the free first down. Unloads to the wide out. Wide open downfield. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. The Wisconsin quarterbacks always know their role. Sometimes they got to make the big plays from a Daryl Bevel to a Russell Wilson. And knowing your role means knowing that you're going to hand the football off a lot and you're going to be a play action team and pick and choose your spots. But it won't be an offense with Wisconsin that it's opening up. It's throwing the football 30, 40 times a game. Movement on the offensive line. That's going to be a false start, and they'll walk it back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts that they will take the penalty. They'll leave it with him. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. So after the first down run, here's second down. Leaves it with the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They'll have to get it to the 37 on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the tight end. Got his man downfield. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. The Badgers will snap it on first and 10. They'll run it from the gun. They make the tackle after he gets two down to the 25. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. And he drops it, just took his eye off of it at the last minute. Hopefully that's not going to affect the quarterback's confidence going back to this guy later. That was a catch he should have made. He dropped it. Let's see what QB does moving forward. They run into a bit of trouble here. Third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Really nice third down sub defense there that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. And they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre snap to post snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion, setting up fourth. 
And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And now the lead is extended a little further. That lead just keeps getting fatter and this kickoff team doing a little running. On the move from inside is five. And the coverage team gets to return her on the ground. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They've got nothing done so far and they already find themselves in a three possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point. Nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now. Ship into this lead. Try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Trying to impose their will with the run. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. Let's see what they do on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And the Huskers will keep this drive going. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. It's first down for back at their own 24-yard line. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. And that's just an example of the defense having a better play call than you have on offense. I like the creativity offensively, but how about the defense having their cornerback in position to make the play? Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. Trying play action. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Oh, he had him out there, and he was trying to compensate for that speed, but just a little too much distance. That's just greased lightning, so you think, I can't overthrow this guy. I'm going to throw it out there and let him run underneath it just a little bit too far for the speedster. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. The Huskers will punt this one away. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I think that might be an example of the running back maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Everybody wants to try to bounce the ball outside and hit the home run, but in college football at this level, you just need to do a better job taking what the defense gives you. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Back to pass. It's Van Dyke. Fires to the wide out. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. Hey, you see those balls in practice sometimes. They're just off the mark. Man. You, don't, you don't know how to control them. You don't know what goes wrong. And sometimes QBs miss, and it's an incompletion. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Complete downfield. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. 
On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. The inside handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own, and fortunately ended up losing yards. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Fires to the right. It's caught. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleeding. And the Badgers will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed over the middle. It's Williams. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. The Badgers are threatening in the red zone. To the air, it's Van Dyke. He's got the tight end. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. No reason to panic when you see those extra bodies coming. Just find the big tight end. Well, and the great ones do that. I think the great ones are okay. You want to blitz? I know my answers. I'm all right. I'll stay patient. Find the matchup. This time it was the tight end. Finds the tight end, throws a strike, and gets the first down. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. It's first down from the 11. He wants to throw. Grabs it in the middle. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Grab near the sticks. It's Pauley. Touchdown, Wisconsin! What a catch and run for six. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be dragged down. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be conservative. We're a little bit down. Listen, I just think this is a point for the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here. We're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. Looking downfield, it's Rayola. Got his man down the middle. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half.
He's looking to throw on third and short. Got the quick pass. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The Cornhuskers will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Starting this third quarter on the ground, Bowles his way forward. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. You're down. Obviously, at the half, you had a conversation. we got to come out and put points on the board. And, Jesse, it looks like they're going to start with the ground game. And I love this, David, too. Regardless of whether they're losing or they're winning, come out here and try to be the most physical unit here in the second half. Get this run game established. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the head. You know, it's difficult for QBs sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. To the air. It's Rayola. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Well, that looked like it was going to be a completion, but how about the defender making the hit and forcing the incompletion? And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Caught close to the marker, it's Mayer. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. When you're a QB and you have enough time to take out a sandwich and finish the sandwich before you have to make a pass down the field, that's a good day at the office. And the Huskers are marching down the field. Power football with the run. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. The Huskers get enough for the first down. This is a guy that can find you the hidden yard. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. And the blitz gets to him just like that. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. That last play, the kind of thing that can mess up a really good drive. It's second and 17. From the gun, running back on the move. And a nice, solid pick up there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I know the passing game sells, the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Back to throw, it's Rayola. Working the middle, it's complete. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Now, 
and they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. And he missed it. No good. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes. Missed field goal, still down by 24. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about great balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive he had way too much time to throw. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Running back searching for a hole. At midfield, he's got room. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense, maybe time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. Oh, man, did he turn that one loose and fired it into the teeth of the zone. And you know as a quarterback, Reese, when you're throwing it to the perimeter of the field on these curl routes, you've got to have some heat. You've got to have arm talent to get that ball out quickly into the hands of your receiver before all those defenders can get to it. Man, this QB's got to kick. And that did not work. Defense smelled that one out from the beginning. Well, they try to dial up the screen pass on first down, seeing if they can catch the defense rushing upfield. But they stayed home. They had their eyes on the football, and they create a negative play. Now on second down. The give to the back. Not much there on the line. He gets one to the 31. to throw it's Van Dyke unloads to the wide out he's got it that is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays the defense finally able to make the stop when you're a playmaker like this guy is your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you especially on third down that's what you saw in that last play there was no question where the quarterback was going with that football all week long they decided on the biggest downs of this game we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. You saw it right there on that. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. This defense obviously knows they've got to be able to stop the run if they're going to win this football game. And you wonder if they've been able to make some tweaks and adjustments to try and take this running back away. Well, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Touchdown, Badger! And the route is on. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Palmer. I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. He'll try to tack on one more. And 
And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. That touchdown drive covered 61 yards. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. To throw, it's Rayola. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest and you can't just dink and dunk outside. You got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. The Cornhuskers will have it first and 10. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Throws to the wide out. Oh, did he find a hole in the defense? Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go in the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. And the Huskers have their offense in high gear. The run from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That play had zero shot. They got to do a better job up front, creating some running lanes. The running back before he could go anywhere, getting tackled, nowhere to go. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. Just feeds the running back. Pulled down at the 29 after getting five. Now, they missed a field goal on the last drive, but you need to get points here, so they need to pick up some yardage to at least get in range for their kicker. That's caught. It's Nayer. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot, the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. Now from inside the red zone. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. The Huskers line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. And it's picked off at the goal line. Bring in the heat. And another broken tackle. He was hoping for that interception return for the touchdown, but he's brought down at the 27. 
not only do they get the interception, but they're able to get a huge return. Remember, this team practices this all week, right? Once they get the interception, they've got guys turning their heads and they're looking for blocks. They're looking for people to get a hat on down the field. And with that INT, they now flip it. That could be a big point swing in this game. They'll throw it on first down. Fires a boom and now it's picked off. Takes it the other way. He's inside the 40. The 20. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Cornhusker. Just one moment and all of a sudden the fortunes turn. You're in a position where you're about to give up points. And now you flip that around and you put points on the board. Perfectly executed. What are you doing in the interception? First guy blocks the team the receiver. Everybody else starts to form a wall where the ball is going. Nice blocking, nice interception, nice return for the touchdown. The extra point is good, but the lead is still big, down 31-7. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Here he comes from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive, throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Offense gets set for second down. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that was a big-time stop defensively. Being physical, creating a negative play on that last run. Now you're setting up third down. This is the critical time. You've got to find a way to get off the field. You're trailing late in the game. Give it back to your offense. We'll see if they can score. The give to the tailback. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Well, they're trying to run the football there. Just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. And the Badgers will call on their punt team. This will be a second time they've had to kick it away. Signals for the fair catch and looks it in at the 40. The Cornhuskers ready to go back. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did on the first part of that drive that made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it. Move on. Play the next play. And here comes the offense on second down. Wants to throw. It's Rayola. Getting some heat. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. You've got to give this defense credit, guys, because all game long, they have forced their opponent to be one-dimensional. They haven't allowed anything to happen in the passing game. As a result, we're here in the fourth quarter. They barely allowed over 100 yards passing. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Find space on the right. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. Wants to throw on first down. Snares it outside. It's Lloyd. 
and you'll run across the sidelines after the good game. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers, I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot. I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout a season. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Tackled after picking up the first down. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. The Cornhuskers are moving quickly down the field. They're getting this guy lathered up. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're just trying to run the ball, but that time there was absolutely nowhere for the running back to go, and as a result, that's a tackle for loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. At this part of the field in the red zone, offensively, you're bringing all these tight ends in the game. You'd like to be more physical at the point of attack. That's why you're bringing the big bodies in, but they couldn't get it done up front, and as a result, it's a negative play. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. The play action fake. And it's incomplete on third down. Well, the defense really stepped up in this game. They knew they had to slow down this passing attack. They knew they had some matchups. They were going to have to win one-on-one. -on -one. They've been able to do that, and as a result, they haven't allowed 200 passing yards in this game. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. A shot toward the end zone, and it's incomplete, and this defense makes a fourth down stop. On first down, here comes this offense. Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Made a defender miss. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. They go to the counter. We'll give him a couple on that with second and eight coming up. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love when you start bringing linebackers up near the line of scrimmage, and you start sending them, because those guys have serious speed. They can come catch anybody up and down the line of scrimmage. The linebacker, you could tell, he had a good clue what was going on. He knew it was a run play. Fired, pulled the trigger, came downhill, and attacked the running back. The give to the back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Yeah, and really good third down situation with defense. You, you know it's third and long. You know the pass play's coming. Defense was ready. Nice job forcing the fourth down. So how good are you feeling right now if you're on offense in this situation? You want to just play conservative? You want to punt it over and let your defense finish out the game? Or do you trust your quarterback to go make a play and win the game right now? Here's the return. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for you. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. Back to pass, it's Rayola. Can't make the grab quarterback, just missed him a little bit. 
It did look to me, guys, like the QB and his target were on the same page on that outbreaking route. I'm not sure if they both thought it was man or zone or what was happening, but I think that helped lead to the incompletion. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And they explode on that one, and they've got it down to the 22. This is a receiver who's so dangerous once he has the football in his hands. That's a simple slant pass, but after he catches it, he's able to work in the middle of the field, finds the open green, and get the first down. And the Huskers have it with a first and 10. Looking to throw it again. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Well, a lot of things haven't gone right for him. You saw an incompletion right there. It's been offense. It's been defense. They just haven't been able to click and get into a rhythm here. And now they're playing catch-up, and you know they're going to be throwing at each and every play here in the fourth quarter. After missing the connection last time, it's second and 10 from the 22. Caught behind the line. It's Banks. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. I don't love the play call at this juncture in the game. You're down. You've got to take shots. The defense is not going to be blitzing, so these screens probably aren't going to work. The Huskers have pushed it inside the 20. Off play action. And they get the sack just like that. It's pretty obvious this defense came into this one knowing they were going to have to play a complete game until there were zeros on the clock, especially against this quarterback. You cannot take your foot off the gas, and that's exactly what they're doing here. Late in the fourth quarter, they're still bringing it, and they get another sack. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's incomplete. The long pass on fourth down is to no avail. They'll run this play from the pistol. Looking for space. It's Malusi. Got room at the 35. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. I think a big key in this team's success today has been their ability to run the football. They've been able to just hand it off and go churn out yards. They've had this defense on their heels all game long. It's given them a big cushion in this game so far. Let's see if they can keep it up. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Scanning the field, it's Van Dyke. And they can't make the connection on third down. The Badgers will line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Feels to punt and tries to help improve that field position. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. That's reeled in. It's Banks. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. You know, at this point in the game, guys, trailing the way they are late in the game, check down throws are not going to get it done. You've got to be more aggressive in the passing game. You're going to have to just start taking shots. Completion a little short of the sticks. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Floyd. 
Tackled at the 43 after picking up 10. So coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing a strike. Trying to find his man on first down. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say it's out of bounds, an incomplete pass. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. Plenty of time in the pocket, and he'll swing it out to the left. Just what they were looking for, a huge explosive play, and they're inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. and Maybe it's been over for a while, Reese, but don't tell that to this quarterback and his teammates. They're still out there scrapping and clawing. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. The Cornhuskers are moving quickly down the field. He'll just keep slinging it. Got it in the middle, it's boy. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hang our hat on that we do really, really well. Listen, the intermediate passing game like this has taken over college football, short to intermediate. So if they can find some of this, it'll help their offense moving forward. Fires into the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Uh, and they're trying to work that sideline all the way towards the end of the end zone, trying to make a play, but ran out of real estate. And you could tell he didn't get a foot down, no catch, out of bounds. Boy, they love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Finds his big tight end. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Husker! A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see a move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? You got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play, get the touchdown. And they'll try to tack on two. Back to throw, it's Rayola. He's got it. Two-point conversion is good. Just a couple of possessions down, so there is some hope. They're definitely up against it. Time running out. Down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Offense getting set for first down. Looks like the offense will just take a knee. 